Jazakallah khair. Beautiful answer. Next question. What are your particular words of advice regarding the, on the occasion of Ramadan approaching us? My advice would be that every Muslim, he or she, should make it a point that they should make a resolution that they should fast each and every day of this blessed month of Ramadan. And we should try and acquire all the benefits of this month. And we should not waste a single minute in this blessed month on things which are trivial. And try and concentrate as much as possible in remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should try and look for His mercy. We have to try and ask for forgiveness. We have to try and seek for His love. And we have to try and increase our piety, our righteousness, and our patience. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in Sahih Bukhari, verb number three in the book of fasting, hadith number 1903, our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, anyone who does not leave the false action and false speech, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala does not care if he leaves his eating and drinking. That means if a person does not abstain from false action and false speech, mm -hmm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not care if you abstain from food and drink. That means your fasting will not be accepted unless you stay away from false action and false speech. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad he also said, it's mentioned in Sahih Hadith, which is written in Musnad Ahmad, Ram number 2, page number 230, hadith number 7148, and it also appears in Sunan Nisai, chapter number 5, hadith number 2106, where our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, O people, the blessed month of Ramadan is approaching, and Allah has ordained for you that you fast in this month. And the gates of heaven will be open in this month. And the gates of hell will be closed. And the devils, they will be chained. And this month is the night, which is better than a thousand months. And if a person is deprived of the blessings in this month, he is truly a deprived person. So we have to make it a point that we gain the benefits of this blessed month. A beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, one number three, in the book of fasting, hadith number 1901, one number three, in the book of fasting, hadith number 1901, our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, that anyone who fasts in this month with faith, seeking the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all his past sins will be forgiven. That means if we truly, with sincerity, fast in this month and seek the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all our past sins will be forgiven. Imagine, it is such an easy way to have our sins forgiven of the past. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number three, in the book of fasting, hadith number 1904. This is a very long hadith, which has basically four points. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that all the children of Adam, all the deeds that they do are for themselves, except for fasting. Fasting is for me, and I will reward him. And he further said that fasting is a shield. It prevents you from sin. And the person who observes the fast, he should abstain from obscenity, from yelling, and from ignorance. And if someone yells at him or abuses him, he should say, I am fasting, I am fasting. And the third point our beloved Prophet said in this hadith is that I swear by Allah in whose hand is the soul of Muhammad that the breath of a faster, the person who fasts, is sweeter to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than the scent of musk. Allah. And he finally said in this hadith that there are two things when a faster is happy and looks forward to it. The first is when he breaks the fast, and the second is when he meets the Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
And further, it's mentioned in the Quran. In Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 31, it says, O you believe, truly have faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seek the bliss. That means, try and enter Jannah. It's mentioned in Surah Aqaf, chapter number 46, verse number 13 and 14, that those are the people who worship none but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they are steadfast in faith. The word is istikam. They are steadfast in faith that there is only one Allah and no one else. And they shall not have any fear, nor that shall grieve. These are the people who are the people of paradise. And they shall be rewarded for all the goods they have done. Allah. So this is advice for the people that they should take the best of this month and should not spend time on trivial things and spend their time in the worship of Allah and remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and asking for forgiveness. MashaAllah.